Hi, my name is Arturo Diaz, and I was a line cook for 10 plus years before joining Dev Code Camp. I spent most of my life in restaurants, grueling away in this very hard industry and putting a big toll on my body. I learned a lot in the restaurant industry on how to manage my time and problem solve, and it gave me the ambition to do something else with my life. So that's why I decided to join Dev Code Camp. During my time at Dev Code Camp, I learned a lot of valuable skills in problem solving and coding. I learned a lot of technologies, and it brought me to this final project for me, my capstone, which I call Find My Recipe. And so let's get into Find My Recipe. When you open up my application, it will take you to my home page, which is also just the search endpoint. And this search endpoint will always give you random recipes for inspiration for anyone that wants to cook. They can come and they can see random recipes. And if you refresh the page, you will always get brand new recipes here for you. No matter what you want, there's always gonna be something for you. Uh, going past this, we have my search bar, which you can search with any type of keyword. Um, there's no limits for this one, so you could just type whatever you want. For me, chicken alfredo is one of my favorite dishes, so here you can choose. You can use the enter button, or you can click on this little play button as well for a search, and it'll give you a chicken alfredo. There you go. And so moving into my first feature was my ingredient search feature. This was one of the hardest features that I've had to work on for this project. Um, and that is because you can add as many ingredients or have one ingredient only. You can have one, you can have as many as you want. And so depending on what a person has in their pantry, you could only find recipes based on what you have available to you at that moment. So let's say I only have tomatoes and I only have potatoes. You search using this and you will receive two columns of search results that uh, <clears throat> include these two ingredients and that way you have something that you're able to make. So let's click on one of these recipes, the penne with sausage. So coming into my recipe page, here you're going to have two buttons at the top. You're gonna to have your add to favorites and your add to meal planner, which are gonna be connected to my other two um, features here that you can see at the top. You're gonna to have the information about your recipe, whether it's vegetarian, the servings, and on your right side, you're gonna have all the ingredients that you need. And as you can see here, you have another button that ties into my other feature the shopping list and then scrolling down you're gonna have your summary you're gonna have your summary for your recipe which covers a various amount of different things the calories the grams of protein uh, uh, money per serving and a little a little score here in case you want to know oh is this worth it for me to cook and then as well as all your instructions here you're gonna have all your instructions so you know how to make this recipe of course you're going to need that and that's basically what you're going to have for every recipe that you click on you're going to get all this information to you and you're going to have all these features available to you so that's the ingredient search and my recipe page so moving on we'll move on to my favorite recipes uh feature and for this it's a pretty basic feature and list for whatever recipes that you really really love you can add them to your favorite recipes um, list and come to this page and you can always just go back to that recipe if you want to cook it over and over and over again you love it and it'll be in this list in this page for you um, here it also have your name right now I'm logged in as user so it'll display your name for the person that's using the application all right moving into my uh, third feature here which is my shopping list in my shopping list, it's also basic, like the favorite recipes, and you can add directly from the recipe page. This is just ingredients that you need, your shopping list for when you have to go. Let's say you, you chose a recipe from one of the random recipes. So, oh, I don't have this ingredient. Okay, add it to your shopping list and take your shopping list with you. 
and then you'll have all your ingredients ready that you need for when you have to go. You can delete ingredients. You can add an ingredient that you know you need, but you didn't find on a recipe page. Um, <clears throat> penne pasta. Let's say we didn't have the penne pasta for that recipe. You can just add it yourself. And here it is, right at the top. Everything you add will go to the top, and everything that's old will be at the bottom. Okay, and now I want to move into my final feature, which was absolutely the hardest feature I had to work on. And this feature is going to be my meal planner page and my meal planner page. Um, here you're going to have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And in this breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can add three recipes for you to plan out your meal for the day. Um, you can have only one recipe at the time. You can have all three. You can have none. Right now, I have one here just to show kind of the mix of when you don't have one and when you have one. When you don't have a recipe, you're going to have this little icon that says no recipe selected. So you know there's nothing there. And when you do have it, you're going to have the name um, and you're going to have the picture. And then as well, what comes when you have one is you have the delete from meal planner button. So now when you click this button, it'll get rid of that recipe. And now as you can see, once we have nothing, you will have no recipe selected. And you can always go back, mix and match with your meal planner, say, yes, I want, I want this kind of meal for today, I want this breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or, oh, I didn't like this anymore, let's clear it all out and restart it up. So those are my main features. Of course, this comes with a, a login feature which uh, allows you when you're logged out it allows you to view recipes but you're not able to use any of these favorite recipes meal planner or shopping list because there's no user associated with that um, and that's find my recipe uh, this was built during a two-week sprint uh, I spent two weeks coding all of these features and I'm really proud of how it turned out and I'm really proud that I'm able to show all of these skills that I've been working on in a in a way that anyone can use in a way that it can help cooks especially like me to make different kind of recipes and keep going with their coding and their skills in life thank you so much